Hey everybody, it's Craig back to here and in this video I'm going to show you how to dodge and burn in Photoshop. All right, let's get started. Okay, so there's a couple of different ways that you can do dodge and burn. We've just duplicated our background layer here. I'm going to show you two different methods. I'm going to show you the one I prefer, but sometimes I use both. All right, so let's start with working non-destructively. So we've already made a copy of our background layer. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a dodge and burn layer. And so one way to do that is if you come down here to the bottom here by the garbage can, you see this little thing here. If you hold down on the Option key on the Mac, Alt on the PC, if you click here, it'll open up a dialog box called New Layer. We can call this one Dodge. Now, go down to Mode, so this is your Blend Mode, and choose Soft Light. Now, once you've done that, check the box that says Fill with Soft Light Neutral Color 50% Gray, then say OK. Now you'll see a layer here called Dodge. Now what we can do is we can hit Command J on the Mac or Control J on the PC. We can duplicate that layer. We'll call this one Burn. That's the easiest way to do that. So now we have a Dodge and Burn layer. And we could also put this in a group. So if we click on one and then hold the Shift key, click on the other and say Command G or Control G on the PC. Now we have them in a group and we can call this just, we'll just say D, B. So now we have a dodge and burn layer that we can toggle on and off. So we're gonna start by dodging first, and I'll show you the areas of the face to dodge and burn. Now we're going to use the brush. So B is the shortcut for the brush. And I'll show you the settings that I like to use. If you go up to the top here, look at your opacity. I like to use an opacity of 100, and a really low flow for this. I like to use a flow between one and 2% and build up gradually. Now to dodge, we want the white to be our foreground color. So you can see we're on white. Now let's just pick another color. For example, say you're in Photoshop and you look left here and you see that it's red and black. If you hit the X key, that toggles the foreground and background. But to get white, if you hit the D key, now you see black and white. If you hit the X key, now white is the foreground color. So you'll be dodging with white. All right, so we're on the dodge layer here. Make sure that's enabled. Make sure you're white. Make sure your opacity is 100, your flows. 1% to 2%. All right, let's start dodging. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to show you the areas to dodge and burn. I'm just going to bring this up to the top and then we'll delete that when we're done. So I'm going to choose a red color to show you right here, the dodge areas. All right, so the areas that you normally dodge, and I'll just make this flow a little bit higher so you can see, and I'll make my brush smaller. I'm just using the bracket key. So you normally would dodge in this area here, this area here, this area here, under the eyes, sometimes up under this area too here, sometimes right under the eyebrow, and then usually on the chin. So that's when you're working on the face. Now those are normally areas of dodging, so brightening. So I'll just delete this layer, just make it easier, and I'll make a new one here. And the areas of burning, those are gonna be areas that you darken. I would normally darken around the hairline. I would add a little contour. So you can see she already has a bit of shadow and a bit of contouring with her makeup there. And then you can also contour on the outside of the nose. And sometimes here, depending, I don't always do it there, but that'll give you some contouring. So it's best to work slowly and build up because you can go overboard and then flatten someone's face or really make them look unattractive. But we can also use the opacity slider to lessen the effect of what we're doing as well. So I'm gonna delete that layer. All right, so now when I do dodging and burning, I like to do two different methods. So I like to really zoom in and get the smaller fine details. And then I like to do more of a broader scope. So let's start with the fine details. So one thing that I find really helps is if you come down here and you choose a black and white layer, and if you drag the red slider, let's just say to about minus 60, drag this down to about minus 50. You could see that the image becomes very dark, but now we can focus on areas of lightness and darkness. So we're gonna to go to the Dodge Zoom In, Command Plus is the shortcut on the Mac. And you should do your skin cleanup first, so any types of blemishes that you may have, I suggest you use the healing brush, get rid of any of those blemishes, and then this will help to refine it. And this is where I go in really close and just try to clean up some of the darker areas. And then I do a broader uh, dodge and burn. And I'll show you the second method for that, just so you get to see two ways to do this. All right, so we've got that 
black and white. And now it allows us to see slightly darker areas. So again, hit the B key, the brush key. You see we have red and white over there. If I hit the D key, it becomes black and white. If I hit the X key, white is on the foreground. I'm on the dodge layer, so I'm dodging. And then I just want to look for a area of darkness. So again, opacity 100, flow of one. And I'm just going to do small areas. So I'm going to zoom in. I'm at about 500% there. And I'm just going to look for little areas that are slightly darker. And what I'll do is I'll probably speed this up a little bit because you'll get the idea of how this works. But basically, I'm just looking for areas of darkness and I'm trying to get them to blend in surrounding areas. Now, this is another way to remove blemishes in a sense because anything that's raised is going to be brighter. So if you have a bump in the skin, the top of the bump is going to be brighter than the lower portion. So I'm just really trying to even out some of the lighting that's created by just bumps on the skin. So areas that are higher are going to be brighter and areas that are lower are going to be darker. And so by lightening the darker areas, I'm smoothing out the surface of the skin. So that's basically how this works. Now you can also get really small here and then you can refine some of the lines under the eyes because I don't think it's a good idea to totally blur out um, people's skin. So the idea of this is just to lighten some of the creases under the eye. And again, we're going to do a larger dodge and burn after this. And you'll see how that works. But this is just sort of a fine dodging and burning technique that I like to do just to sort of get the fine lines a little bit lighter. And like I said, I'm just at a flow of about 1% here. You can bump that up to about 2%, but I like to just keep it really low so that I don't go overboard. And I'm really just focusing on darker areas. And what I'll do is I'll do the eyes, a different method. I'll have another video for eyes. And this is basically just what I'm doing. So I think what I'll do is I'll speed this up and then we'll get to the second part of the dodge and burn technique. All right, I'm just going to fast forward through some of this micro dodging. Now, I also have other videos on skin retouching. I'll put them down below this video in the description box. I also have a link to the behind the scenes of the lighting of this shot that you're looking at right now. I'll put that below in the description box too. All right, so we're back. Now, I just want to show you this. I'm going to take this black and white layer. I'm going to get rid of this. And we didn't use this burn layer in this. That's just how I do it. I usually do dodge on one layer, burn on this layer. But at this stage, I don't do any burning. I save that for the second stage. So here we are. I'm just going to toggle this group on and off. And really, it's so small, you probably wouldn't even notice these differences. But I think in the whole, it all comes together a little bit better. So I'm just going to toggle this on and off. So this is with it off. And so just look at areas here. Um, in the forehead, around the nose, and under the eyes. Now this is just very subtle, and you can see that it just slightly lightens. So this first step is just really the fine details, really going in and lessening some of those lines under the eyes, any little dark spots, and then we're going to do more of a global overall dodge and burn. Now you can skip this step if you want. This is just if you want to get really granular with it. So now we're just going to close this group. Now, another way of doing dodge and burn is come down here and you can create a curves layer. Now to dodge, you would just boost everything up and to burn, you would just take everything down. Now, so let's just do another example of dodging here. So what's good about this technique is you can never get brighter than what you set your curves layer to. Again, of course, you can always lower the opacity with the other method, same as this, but at least this way you know that you're never going to get this bright if you set it this bright, for example. So once you've got that curves layer, you can toggle that on and off. You want to create a mask. So what you can do is just hit Command I or Control I on your keyboard when you're clicked on that mask. And now the mask will only appear when we paint in white. So again, we're painting with a brush in white. I like to keep my flow around one to 2%, same thing here. Now the only difference is now is we're just going to do a more of a global, so a larger dodge and burn. So I'm just going to make my brush a little bit bigger. Now a couple of shortcuts too. If you right click, you could see there's the dimensions and things like that. But also too, if you hold the option key and the control key on the Mac, if I go left, my brush gets smaller. If I go right, it gets bigger. If I go up, it gets softer. If I drag down, it gets harder. So I'm on a tablet. So I'm going to drag up for maximum softness. And then again, I can hold those keys and go left. 
And so what I'll do is with the dodging is I'll start with a slightly larger brush and then I'll make the brush smaller. So a couple strokes there and then I can make my brush smaller and then a couple more strokes and then smaller again. And so I'm really making that highlight a little brighter in the center and it's just sort of a graduation of the size of the brush. So hopefully that makes sense. Now again here we're going to add a little bit of brightness. I'm just going to do that because the nose is smaller. I don't necessarily need it to be bigger. But again, you can do that same technique like that. And if you ever feel like you went too far, you can lower the brightness by the opacity or just dragging that down. And again, I always just start out with gradual adjustments and then I work up to it. And then if I think I went too far, then I can always adjust that. So again, we're kind of working in this area. We're working right here on the bridge of the nose. Under the eyes here, and these are the patterns that I showed you earlier. And you don't want to go too crazy with this because you can really flatten out someone's skin. So I'm just going to toggle that on and off. And you can see that it's starting to improve those areas. If you think you went too far, you can always just adjust the opacity slider. Now we can use the same method to do dodging and burning, like I said. Now one thing I like to do too with the curves layer is go to the blend mode. And if you choose luminosity, then it only affects the brightness. So it doesn't affect the colors. So when you push up on a curves layer, sometimes it adjusts the colors as well. Make sure if you're using curves to dodge and burn that you use the luminosity blend mode. So let's do that again. So we're gonna create another curves layer. We're gonna click on curves. This time we're going to burn. So we're gonna bring it down and then we're going to change the blend mode to luminosity. All right, and then the mask you click on, command I, so now we paint in white over the mask, just like we were doing with the dodging, except we're going to emphasize certain areas. So sometimes I like to take the eyebrows down a little bit. So I'll work on the eyebrows here. Sometimes the hairline, sometimes if there's a part in the hair, it's nice to darken that area. Then we'll go a little bigger here, and then we're just gonna bring in a little bit of burning and contouring in this area here. And then again, what we can do is we can refine the edges of the nose. So just sort of refine the contour of the nose. And then you can see there's a natural shadow under her nose. We shot this with butterfly lighting and we're using a Mola SETI. I have a behind the scenes of this shoot. So I'll put a link below in the description if you want to check out the behind the scenes of how we lit this shot. And then again, there's some contouring here on the cheeks. And then I just bring things in gradually. And then again, like I said, it's on its own layer. And so this is the technique, really. That's the curves layer. I showed you the other method before that. And it's just a matter of building this up slowly and then toggling it on and off. So this is the burning. And you can see we're just building up really slowly with this. Also, too, anywhere where there's makeup that's dark, you can also emphasize that a little bit more, too, if you want it to. So you can burn in these areas here as well, as well as the pupil. And then what I'll do is I'll brighten the catch light in the eyes as well as I'll also brighten the eyes. That's going to be in another video. So I just go around and just sort of build up slowly. I don't like to rush it. And it's up to you, really. If you want to do this quickly, you can just increase your flow and you can do it as fast as you'd like. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. That's my two techniques for dodging and burning in Photoshop. And if you have any questions or comments, you can post them down below. Also, if you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up, hit that thumbs up, that like button. Also click on share and feel free to share this on Facebook, photography groups, forums, Twitter, wherever you'd like. All right, thanks again. It's Craig Back to here and I'll see you in the next video.